ladies and gentlemen, do I, have a, do I have a moment for you guys right here? Welcome to episode 21, the most important episode of our career so far. You guys know what time it is. If you've been staying tuned, if you're su- subscribed to the channel, you already know what time it is. We're going to be versing Conor McGregor right here, right now, live for you guys on the channel. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for all future content with the number one ranked contender. And like I just said, our next fight's Conor McGregor. For the sake of this episode, I'm going to definitely do all the training on screen. Show you guys what's going on. So make sure you get your popcorn ready, your soda ready, your bongs ready, your bowls ready, your your joints ready, ready, your alcohol ready, your beer ready. Get your candy ready, your crunchy chips, whatever you guys need. Because this is it. This is the championship fight. This fight is automatically a high-hyped fight without even promotion. They're giving us six weeks of training. More than enough time to get ready to bang with McGregor. You look, you see his stand-up. He's a little... We got him in almost the grappling category. We don't have him in health. This man has a chin with a devastating striking game. You guys know what it is. You know who Conor McGregor is. You know the man's reputation. We're going to just hop right into this fight. We're going to accept the fight and move on to the training. Now, I don't know what gym to pick. We don't have enough money to buy the wrestling gym. So, I think for the sake of this, we're going to go back to our kickboxing gym for some more stand-up moves that we have. Right here, the membership. 10000 a week. We get six weeks of training. $60,000. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, that we're going to get paid enough... If we can win, well, we're, you know, we're, you already know we're going for the belt. And here you go. We're, I'm going to read the article. Matt Merced gets his title shot in a grudge match against Conor McGregor. The timing couldn't have been better for a highly regarded contender, Matt Merced. Not only has his long winning streak been rewarded with a title shot, but the championship match is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And it will be against a man he has been chasing for years in reigning title hold defender, title, <laughs> in reigning title holder, Conor McGregor. And while winning the championship will be the main objective of Merced, taking the belt from this heated rival will be the icing on the cake. This is it. Make sure you guys don't leave this video without throwing a like on it. Make sure you guys share this video. Let's try to make this shit go viral. This is about to be a crazy insane... I don't. I haven't really checked out anybody else's... You know, if you subscribe to my channel and you got UFC 3 content, just know I checked it out. I watched the videos fully and I liked them. Okay? But uh, let's try to see if we can get this viral. I haven't seen any... Uh, youtubers yet really on the channel on their channels because i haven't really looked maybe there is but go up against conor mcgregor and take the lightweight belt so this is going to be a treat i don't think we really need to promote the fight but we're definitely going to go on this national tv interview there's no doubt in my mind we're going to get ready man this is it this is the championship fight this is the biggest moment of our career this is what we've been working for we, i managed to drop 21 episodes in almost a week we got, I'm grinding this shit out. I told you guys already from the beginning, if you've been staying with me from the beginning, we're looking to become the greatest of all time. We had a path in our way. We did everything we needed to do, and now we're finally here. This is going to be no easy test. People are writing that we love the camera, doesn't he, in a, in a negative way. Um, we're just looking to get the belt, become the greatest of all time. Nobody, nobody wants to see you become the greatest of all time. So we're going to have to become the greatest of all time. You know what I mean? That was the goal from the beginning. Let's just keep working on these moves here. Let's keep training our stand-up. We lost three points for accuracy. We're going to see if maybe we can go for a therapy session. Because they do have therapy sessions that you could take to get rid of all your uh, your injuries. But we're going to try to do that in the last week if we have the option. we got to train hard for this. Let's see if we can learn any other new moves. Pull up a submission from the full mount. Should we try to go for... Some full mount submissions. Yes, we are. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can tap dude out. Let's see if we can tap our, our sparring partner out. Submissions only from full mount. Here we go. Let's get this man in the go-go plata. Here we go. There we go. Work for that go-go plata. Nice. Let's oh, this pull is going to be difficult. Pull his neck into your shit. Yeah, this is not... This is not going to be easy. We're gonna get this man at the half guard. You're giving Put him, him in the top now. We got 30 seconds. We'll see if we can get a submission. The Google platter was a little difficult. Let's go for the arm bar. He's gonna flip us over. 
All right, he's got his back in the full guard. We got 30 seconds. Let's we'll see if we you can get the tap points when your opponent stands Here we go. Let's get the arm bar. You got to work in that position. You can't just stay still. That's it. Nice work. You almost oh, got yeah, it. Oh, yeah, he's going to break out. This is going to be more difficult than I thought it would be. We got to make man lose stamina. We got to break his transition. He's running out of stamina. All right, we got nine seconds. We're not going to get it on this one. All right. I'm not going to let it bother us. I'm going to skip this. I'm not even going to try it again. There's no need for us to get any uh, top mount submissions right now. we got a couple of level 4 and 5 submissions in the arsenal already. So we're just going to continue on. As this man's hugging us and it's not loaded. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, we glitched out. We'll do with the episode. Let's just restart it. Maybe we can get the submission. It was lagged out. Let's so transition might as well to a submission for another, from full uh, mount. Another attempt. I want tight top control in the half guard. All right, bro. He's running we low. We down. You're winning every minute in that position. Let's see if we can get the arm bar from full mount. We got full stamina. There's the arm bar. You see it? All right, bar's a little bit slower. Keep it up. Extend that arm. Oh, just about half. Oh, we couldn't get it. All right, let's try to go again. Here we go. We got 30 seconds. The arm bar's there. Work for it. Oh, I let it go on accident. Come on, let's work for that arm. We're not going to get it. You almost had it so close. This is difficult, man, especially when they got full stamina That's like this. I'm telling arm. you, man, we got to get go. uh, to work 12 it. submissions to become the greatest of all time. Arm. Let's go. Nothing comes easy. Ooh, close. Yeah, we, we can't get the submission on this dude. I gotta figure out ways on the ground to drain our opponent's stamina. Maybe put some perks on for the ground. And there we go. Alright, it's over. Alright, it didn't lag out. We're gonna just continue. Here we go. I think we're just gonna keep training the ground. We're not gonna look to learn any new moves. We don't really need to learn new moves. Poor decision by us, but it's no big deal. Let's just keep training. We got 60 points left. Let's keep going for... Let's get that power up. Blocking chin strength. We're gonna need all that if we're gonna go toe to toe with Conor McGregor. This is gonna be a war. Let's get the clinch grapple up, just in case he gets in trouble and puts us in the clinch. Let's go for those clinch throws to an 83, 86 percent fitness with I think two weeks left. Man, this is it. This is what we've been training for. Let's see if we can do a promotion. Let's see what we got here. Commer oh yeah, we're gonna do a commercial shoot for a UFC film coming out. Here we go. This is new. There's the commercial. We've been training, man. It's our time. Championship fight is right here for the taking. Our title shot's right here for the taking. I think that was 100 points. Not really sure. Let's just keep training the fucking ground, uh, top game. I think we got one week left, so we're going to see in the last week if we can hit some therapy up to get our accuracy back to the regular uh, point. We're going to look for to get that. We, have, we now have a 93 power. We just lost four leg strength. Uh, not a good thing. We're going to look to get our endurance going. Right, I think this is the last week. Let's see if we can clear up some of these injuries. Let's see if there's a physical therapist on, on call that we can go to uh, to remove these injuries. There we go. Physical therapy. We have to pay 25000 but it's worth it. We're going to get the body back in good shape. Now, with the rest of our 30 points, let's just promote the fight. Let's keep promoting. Let's, let's spend some time with the fans. Alright, man. Here we go. Fight week. Very Our first very high hype fight. 95% fitness. 1.2 million fans. This might be the last time you guys ever see me without holding a belt. Make sure you guys stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe for future content. And get ready. World Championship. Lightweight title on the line. Matt Merced versus Conor McGregor. Live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 20 and 0. 20 knockouts in row. We're, can we knock out McGregor? You guys are about to find out. I'm doing this live, so. I don't even know what to expect. Alright, here we go. Merced makes a switch. This is another thing about us switching camps. Um, 
we, we definitely had to go to the kickboxing gym, you know, before we faced McGregor, get some of that stand-up up. We're just trying to grow as a fighter, man. It's all we can do. Here we go. Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame. Others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. Dope cutscene. Coming up next, a matchup for awesome the Awesome job by EA Sports. I'm gonna let the whole intro rock out for you guys. Here we go. It's time. It is so hard to realize a title shot in this loaded UFC lightweight division, but that is exactly what is in front of this man here tonight. He has paid his dues. He has got the win streak that has positioned him for this opportunity. He has certainly worked his way up the ranks. He has taken on all comers. And now, one man stands in his way of being forever minted a UFC lightweight champion. We'll see if his performance can be consistent with the ones that have led to this opportunity tonight. This is his first world championship fight a real milestone a real pressure situation for him the amount of training and preparation that he has done over his entire life will culminate in this one evening he is the number one contender to the title and if he wins he will be the champion of the world here we go man it's our time ladies and gentlemen i'm excited man here we go this is about to be a fucking war let's get it Hopefully, you'll turn on the post notifications. We're a long way of being done. We're never going to quit. Here we go. Here comes the champion. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion. Here comes Conor McGregor, the notorious the one. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Coming off that loss to me, you know, this is his first his fight hands. back. Well, it hasn't in the lightweight division after losing to Floyd Mayweather. Given all the skills he brings to the table, the question is... Man's sitting comfortably, just like waiting this. for the next contender to come up to and try to take his spot. Can. Just another chapter... He's won seven fights in a row, won 11 out of his last 12. He's hungry. Is in focus right now. You hear the crowd. We're definitely going to be in favor of Conor McGregor. This man is the fucking GOAT. What the fuck? Everything ran according to plan. This he man, to me, is probably one of the greatest... Uh, definitely the greatest UFC fighter of all time. I think he's the first UFC fighter to put all wits aside and head his way into a boxing gym to display his stand-up skill. So you guys know what time it is. There's the there's the real strut. There's the real champion. Here we go. This is going to be an insane fight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, here, here go, now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Getting our first title shot before the age of 30 ladies years old. this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Canada. For Matt Mercer said, this is just another fight. There's a lot on the line here. This is it. This is what we've been training for, bro. This is the championship fight, man. Throw some comments on the video. Throw some hype comments. Type hype in the comments if you guys are ready for more content. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 20 and 0, fighting out of Long Island, New York. Six foot one, 155 pounds. The phenom, Matt Merced himself, the cooler. Coming from the bottom. Started with 20 fans, over a million fans now. Moved our way up. Went through 20 different competitors. And here comes the champion. Here we go, man. 
is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin Island, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Here we go. Told you guys from the beginning we were taking on the lightweight division because there was a lot of talent. Ready to know Conor McGregor's reputation. Let's see how the fucking stare down goes. Here we go. No fear in the eyes of both fighters. Look at McGregor's face. He's ready to make an impact. Merced's just embracing it. Both men touch gloves and show respect. This is going to be a great classic fucking fight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for round one. It's about to start. Starting now. Both men touching gloves. Conor McGregor showing his respect straight away. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is the title shot. Let's see what happens. We got to just take our time with it. We got five rounds to fight. He's going the body kick early. He's coming with the first shot. He's going to land another one. He's leaving his chin open. We just caught him with a devastating hook. Hurt him early. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go with the spinning heel kick. We're going to throw that uppercut, missing the hook. Now we're mixing it up. Here we go. Combo land. Throwing that body kick right back. Oh, he weaves, oh, he weaves the uppercut. Comes with a crazy hook of his own. Inflicting some crazy damage. Oh, we caught him early. We dropped him. We dropped him. Can we sweep him? No way. No way. No way. No fucking way, ladies and gentlemen. No way. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Holy shit, we just knocked out Conor McGregor in, a, in less than a minute and 30 seconds. Holy shit. It only took a couple of strikes. Look at the power on display. We're the fucking UFC lightweight champion of the world. Wow, we just did it. First run. Live, holy shit, I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Right on the money. Man, I thought he was going to at least recover, but once we got on top and started raining those and ground and pound 100 uh, top game strikes, it was over quickly. I cannot believe what we just did. Holy shit. Let's make this shit go viral, guys. Holy fuck, man. Share this video with everybody. This is crazy. Wow. Holy shit, dude. We knocked out Conor McGregor in about a minute to win the belt. I don't think it's been done yet. Holy shit, I told you guys from the beginning. I told you, I've been here. Yo, I told you guys from the beginning. We had a goal, we had a plan. From the beginning, I said we were going to become the greatest of all time. Go undefeated, knock out the champion, get the belt. We just achieved all of our, these are short-term goals. We still have to move to the, the, a different weight division. We still need 12 submission victories. The path has finally started. Look at this. Conor McGregor only had a chance to throw 12 strikes. We knocked this man out in less than 15 strikes thrown. He only got a chance to land four punches or kicks. I think two of them were body kicks and they were both devastating. They counted as significant strikes. Holy shit. We ended this fight at three minutes and 57 seconds of the first round. A minute and three seconds, dude. Conor McGregor only got a chance to land four strikes. We knocked out Conor McGregor, the notorious one, with only 15 strikes landed. Holy shit. I, I'm, I'm in shock. I can't even believe we just did that. We just hit over 1.3 million fans. We got all of our contract goals done. We only gained 50,000 fans and $125,000. Although we, should, we definitely deserve more, bro. We just put on one of the craziest displays in probably UFC history. You guys know Conor McGregor's reputation. You guys know what it is already. Holy shit, we did it. Here we go, UFC Minute. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. Wow. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this Holy past shit. weekend in the main event. Last weekend at Air Canada Centre in Toronto, Ontario, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew. And he was crowned UFC lightweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable referee stoppage.
That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so hyped right now. I cannot believe what we just did. We're the new, bro, we are the lightweight champion of the world, bro. We beat, we knocked out Conor McGregor with 15 strikes thrown, bro. A minute and three seconds. One minute and three seconds into the fight. McGregor didn't even get it. We didn't even give McGregor a chance to put his hands on display. We didn't give McGregor a chance to put anything on display. He landed four shots, four strikes. This is the biggest episode of our career. This was the biggest challenge. This was the lightweight championship fight. I, I, I don't even know what else to say. This is insane. Let's see what our next step is in the career because we're not over. We're not done yet. We just won the title. Now we got to defend the title. It's not about how you win it. It's about how you defend it, how you keep it. We got to keep the title. We're looking to go undefeated. We need 12 submissions to become the GOAT. We got another contract as a superstar. A five-fight contract. And for eight, each main event, uh, the pay-per-view pay buys are awarded for us. We're going to get $200,000 for every win in this contract. And depending on if we get performance of the night. We should have got performance of the night many times in this... Uh, in this career so far. They haven't really been giving them to us. Maybe we have to like really like pull out some crazy moves. Alright, looks like, oh, I think we did we change divisions? Tyron Woodley, ladies and gentlemen, is a vicious striker, but he's not a lightweight. He's a welterweight fighter. Alright, man. We're gonna just we're we're the champ now. We're going confident style all the way through. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for all future episodes on the channel as Tyron Woodley is now our new rival. Make sure you guys turn on the post notifications, show some love on this video, throw some likes, share it, try to get this video viral. You guys seen what we did. Insane. Cannot believe it. I don't know what, look, look, ladies and gentlemen, Tyron, all right, Tyron Woodley's the champion. I don't know if he's going to fight anybody until he faces us. He might just train for the next however long it is and wait for our, you know what I mean? Because he's the champion. So if we have to verse him to get another belt, shit's going to get insane. So stay tuned. We already took out McGregor. So we can take out Conor McGregor. We could easily take out Tyron Woodley. Wow. 21-0, man. We're the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Thank you for tuning in to episode 21. You already know we keep it real on this channel since day one. Just started uploading videos about three weeks ago. I already put out, this is going to be the 20, 21 episodes in about a week and a half on the channel. For our, our Road to the Goat series in the UFC 3 career mode, man. Crazy, 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 crazy ride so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all this shit. I can't believe what we just did. I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Like I said from the beginning, and I keep saying in every video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, shout out to you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. We're fucking ready, guys. Uh, ready for more greatness. 2018's our year. And when I say our, I mean to all our subscribers. Let's just keep growing from here. Let's just keep moving up. Only time can tell. Only God knows, man. Here we go. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a hell of a ride. It's not over yet. Be ready for episode number 22. And I'm signing out. I told you guys from episode one I was going to become the greatest of all time. That was just our first goal.